back on the topic of why would you go back to living a lie um, <clears throat> they're going back to it because if it's what appeals to them they don't look at the spiritual aspect I think I've pretty much boiled it down to they don't see with spiritual eyes anymore they see with carnal eyes and their carnality has overtaken their vision so that their spiritual eyes and their spiritual um, uh, insight into seeing the truth of the world. It's like in Romans where it says, so God gave them up to a debased mind because they forsook the truth. I'm paraphrasing, but if you, if you draw close to God, he'll draw close to you, right? So the opposite is true if you take steps back you take steps further away from God he's going to go further away from you and the ramifications of that are are uh, becoming more deceived and deluded and falling for the trap and being more susceptible to the lies in the world lies that you once saw as lies you start seeing them as well they're not too bad now now that I'm kind of in the world and not of not just in the world, but I'm now of the world. I belong to their system, and I'm I am a participate. I'm a participant in their system. I am a um, I am buying into the system. I don't know. I, I just I couldn't fathom it. Now I can because I understand that their spiritual. Radar, I guess your spiritual radar. It's just so, it's so broken. They have no detect, detection, de detection powers. They have no powers of deduction um, to detect detection of uh, the falseness of lies. Of it's just I don't know. Like I mean, I do know, but oh, it's just. start to understand the mind of God, the heart of God, where he says, if there only a heart in them to keep my commandments always and fear me, to love my laws, if there was only a heart in them, I mean, I could say the same thing for my brothers and sisters, if there was only a heart in them to really love the truth. They would obey and keep the peace days, and not the false days. There's only a heart in them that they would never leave from what they know is right. Yeah, we all have our understanding. God gives us an understanding of what the truth is. But when we revert back, It's like, it's like a child learning to walk and then learning to run and learning to swim and you're proud of that child but then when that child starts to purposely forget how to swim and goes back to crawling again, you're saying, what are you doing? You're, you're handicapping yourself. They're willfully doing it. Willfully plucking their eyes out. Willfully plugging their ears. Like, I don't know, it's so sad. Like, and not only are they posting about it, it's not like they're not enjoying it, they're showing some kind of enjoyment. And I'm not that shocked though, because it was the same person that converted to Buddhism. And, The Bible has so many examples where it says that the people just shake their heads. They shake their heads with a righteous sigh because they're vexed by what the world is doing. I mean, it's hard enough for the world to do what they're doing, and they're saying, Oh, I 
feel, we feel bad for them because they don't know what they're doing. But then when it comes down to a brother or a sister that was in the faith or that was actually physically in the faith, whatever it is, and then they go back to the lie, or not even back, but they go into a lie. Maybe they didn't live the lie before, or they are born in the church. And still, it's people would, I know a lot, of, a lot of church people, a lot of believers say, was their calling real? And they like to do mental gymnastics and try to make sense of it all. Only God knows. The heart, whether it was true or not, whether it was real in their heart or if it was just for show or just had a you know reflex, just just going through the motions because their mom and dad were in the church or just doing it because they don't really believe it. They just like yeah, you just got to do it. It's normal. So shaking of the head, man. Can you do?